Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Roger, right? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Very nice to meet you. Catherine. Catherine, nice to meet you. Dude, yeah. you gonna love this thing? Yeah, yeah. I am. 110. Yeah. Yes. I, yeah. I'm excited. For yeah, we're so excited. Good. Yeah. Well, thank y'all for participating. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Cool. So y'all drove here? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'll yeah. follow him back. Yeah. Awesome. That's probably smart. So good. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll most likely make it's it. Good, it's definitely going to make it, but it's still oh, yeah. smart. So wait, what happens if I win? What happens if you win? I can buy another shirt. All right. If, if I beat you, you got to buy another shirt. If he wins, he gets your hat. No. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a. Uh, I'll give you a sticker. Ready? Yep. Go. I'm just gonna burn out my bicep before tomorrow. He's gonna eat. Oh. You better. Oh. Don't get left. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Buy a shirt. Strong, pretty strong. <laughs>Relaxing in the bus. Uh, it's that pretty was much like 15 minutes, Matt. Yeah, it was like 15 minutes. I signed. I signed two guys' shirts. <laughs> this is pretty much Mare's ideal scenario. She's just at a racetrack, crocheting <laughs> um, while she watches these race cars come flying past. Look at this. I mean, what a perfect scenario. Right next to my feet that have been in boots all day. We're out here at Cletus Indy, and it is the biggest one we've had so far. There are so many people here. So it's really cool to meet everybody and say hey and. Uh, we just went and had our driver's meeting and we we're getting ready, Roman and I, to do our little burnout. They got corn cob all dialed, I think, is what Cletus was saying. You keep winning these events, I don't even know why I come. I haven't won a Cletus in a bit, I don't think. But I've never won. <laughs> if, if we uh, if we brought the low rider here, we could win. Mm. You've never won because you haven't have you popped both tires yet? I haven't even popped eight. Uh, <laughs> you should go warm that thing up and get like half the tread off those tires. No, so. This is the first time without brand new tires. Oh, good. I got my last tire. That's what you need, yeah. Brand new tires is rough. So Roman's popping his first tires today, which is gonna be great. Is this guy, tires. Oh, this guy's racing that deuce and a half. Look at that. Oh, it's hard to focus. Oh, yeah. Let's see what his time is. 29, you got a 29 in the quarter.
It's pretty good in a deuce and a half. Found the high ground, just sitting up here on the bus, watching the show. It's pretty good. I think Roman and I are about to go down here. This is all the open burnout competition. We're gonna run down there and check out some of the cars. Obviously the next day. I'm not real sure what happened. Uh, having trouble getting it to run right. Um, it died twice during the burnout. Once, uh, the last time it died, I just was like, I'm done and I just quit. Um, Cause I don't know, I, I'm not sure what's going on. I couldn't get my wheel speed up. I'm not sure if I, I got into third gear, but then I think I, I think I was stuck in second gear. And so I was sitting there like, why am I not smoking? Cause I thought I was in third gear, but I, I must not have been. Cause my wheel speed didn't seem very high. But I don't know, overall disappointed, but I have some ideas on things that can make this thing a lot better. Um, so I'm gonna go back to Holder Bros with some ideas. I also, this is a bigger turbo than stock, 
and so you really got to spool it to get the power to come. When, when you're not spooled, when you don't have boost, like, this thing doesn't make any power. And then when the boost kicks in, there's just tons of power. So I'm thinking, what if we did some kind of compound turbo and have a smaller one that'll help boost faster and then use a bigger one for getting all the power. I'm gonna talk to them about that, but I think this car will be really good once I can work out some of the kinks and figure out why it was dying. Kind of weird, but otherwise, we're doing all right. And we have big race today. So Crown Vic race, they actually just drove my uh, Crown Vic Pass. I saw it for the first time. I'm getting ready for that. Setting up, it rained a ton last night. So we're moving our tent forward to get out of this big puddle and trying to figure out how we can not stand in rain all day uh, while we meet you guys and sell merch and all that stuff. May move the bus forward as well. And then tonight, we're actually giving the bus away. Should be good. Indy, baby. Giddy up. Can I get a job? Uh, sure. on the back and get the spacing good. Yep, it's gonna look terrible. Just like I planned. It's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Alright, this is my car. Tactical tan. Got a little FDE action going on over here. It's way better than Roman's bright yellow one. That's for sure. Suiting up. We are getting in the cars, doing qualifying first, and then we have the race. Uh, 80 laps, I think, for the Indianapolis 800 at Cletus and Cars. Let's do this. All right, just a little qualified laps first. No, it's not available. They're running the first heat right now. Long for the ride, but We'll see where we finish there. The car feels like it's running good. Uh, it's got a weird burning smell though. My boy, Demolition Matt, let's hear it for Demolition Ranch. <laughs> Tell us about your new project, buddy. How many acres did you just buy? We just bought 330 beautiful Texas acres. Holy Toledo. And you're gonna have a resort for these amazing people. They can eventually come there, correct? That's the goal. I had to one-up the abandoned racetrack. Oh. <laughs> well, you just wait and see what I got for you, buckaroo. <laughs> Everyone else is super boring out here, and they're all like, we're going to conserve tires and try to go easy. I guarantee I'll be out in 30 laps. I'm going hard. <laughs> Let's hear it for Matt. <laughs> all right, hey, that's one strategy, riding dirty. Thanks for coming, Matt. About the start of the race, just did all the checks. Uh, all the drivers are lined up, everybody's buckled in. We're ready to go. Check engine light on. I have a low tire pressure light on. I've got a brake light on. I've got an ABS light on. I've got an uh, airbag light on. And a, a door open light on. Bring a Christmas tree. 
tree up in here. Well, we are set and ready to go here. Engines have fired, and we are ready to get this race underway. Couple, you can see the drivers all waving to the grandstand as they make yet another lap behind the pace car. Very few of those left. So that upper groove is going to be the kind of groove of last resort. Three and four. Green flag is in the air, and the Indy 800 is underway. And of course there, here comes the number three LS George on the outside. Look at that chaos.
cool, calm, and collected in there. You wouldn't think that he's having much of an issue there. He's got a nice calm. Man, that's the one thing I... Oh, big trouble! Big trouble in turns three and four. Nice calm. Man, that's the one thing I... Oh, big trouble! Big trouble wow. in turns three and four. Big, the 50 big, big of back. Matt from Demolition Ranch. And the 113 of Justin the heat from Justin and Heat Wave in the 50. Oh man, it's it's riding more than dirty. It's riding home now, as you see, a lot of that coolant and fluid pouring out of the front of that machine, and oh, we have man. two very very torn up race cars. This is uh, this is going to definitely end the day for the 50. And if I'm the 113, I think my day might be done as well. Man, we have taken front. They're going to have to put a third shift on the 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 Ford Crown Victoria front end parts department of the factory here because we have we have just torn these things to pieces this afternoon. He's throwing, he's throwing <laughs> the devil. Yeah, he's, he's, okay. he's, he's having a good time with it, but man, what a tough break. And hey, most importantly, good to see that he is all right. Oh, oh man, wow. hard into the wall was the 113. And for Matt, just absolutely nowhere to go. The dude hit the wall in front of me and I just plowed him. Dang it. Dang it! <laughs> ah, that sucks. That sucks. That was a hard, hard hip for the 50 of Matt from Demolition Ranch. But good to see that he's moving around in the race car there, and we'll see if, uh, yeah, it looks like the 113, but that thing is toast. Matt's just kind of minding his own, own business, but as he went into that corner thinking, okay. I'm going to go into the second lane and I'm going to drift up into that third lane. And once he saw that the 113 was already up there, he's like, oh, man, yeah. I, I got I, I to gotta hit the brakes here. But, hey, how about it? Climbing out of the car. Good to see that Matt from Demolition Ranch is all right. Give him a nice round of applause. Give him a hand. Let him hear it. They're making me get checked out since I hit so hard. Yeah, buddy. Hi. Okay. Did you go into the wall? I hit a car and hit the wall. Yeah. Okay. That's my car just smashed over there. Okay, cool. Um, how are you feeling? Great. Head or neck pain? Okay. okay, cool. Um, they want us to just have you hop in the back and take you up there with us. Yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, I wasn't going to win it, but I was feeling really good. I started really hitting a groove, I feel like. And then just got smoked. Let's count it down. One, two, three. That's what I'm talking about. They cleared me. They said I'm good to go. Spencer. You gnarly. Ah, uh, suck, dude. You all right? Yeah. I mean, I can't see you right now, but like I'm great. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll give you right back. This is a good thing to do after you get a concussion, right? Yeah. I didn't get one before. I'm gonna get one now on this mini bike. That was a wild ride, man. You know, I'm down in pit lane with Matt from Demo Ranch. Let's hear it. Where's the Demolisha? Woo! All right, man, that was a hard hit. You didn't hit the wall initially. You hit the uh, uh, the heat wave car. What happened? He locked up all of his tires, it seemed like, and he slammed into the wall right in front of me, and so then I just slammed into him. And then he took off, <laughs> and I was stuck. Yeah, man, you were dead on arrival. That car was leaking. You were stuck, but the guys checked you out in the medevac, and, and you're good to go, right? Yeah, they said I was stronger than before. <laughs> stronger than before? How many fingers am I holding up? I can't see that far. <laughs> All right, guys, give it up for Matt. Put up a valiant effort here today. Did a great job. Back to you, Brian. They're still going. I'm out. Left in an ambulance. Good. They're like, your head hurt? I was like, nah. They're, your neck hurt? And I was like, nah. My neck actually, it hurts. I got, I got a little bit of whiplash. I had a Hans device on, so not bad. It'll be fine. It's gonna be sore tomorrow. He just looked at me and said, yeah, you're fine. So I'm out. Uh, unfortunately, it was the heat wave car. I went and talked to him because he, he ended up, his car was done too. He rolled off. He came over and said sorry. It wasn't his fault. His front right tire blew out. So he just went boom and like instantly for our tire blew out so he slammed on the brake so all his tires locked up and he slammed the wall right in front of me as I was trying to go as fast as I could around that curve and so I just slammed right in the back of him. Toasted both of our cars unfortunately. I think I was about to get first place and that's not the concussion talking. I'm pretty sure I was about to get first. Oh well, maybe next time. Well, who is going to win though? I think, uh, let's see, Roman's in fourth place right now. 
The birdie's in fifth. And the green flag is blown on the gas versus J.H. Easley. We're at our two laps to go. He's got the white flag and the checkered flag in hand. Just two laps remaining for Kevin Smith. Time here for the Indy 800. Let's go! Kevin Smith leads the field into turn number one. It's J.A. Diesel throwing the car sideways into one and through two. He's smoking yeah, the tires Kevin again. If J.A. clear out in front by about five car lengths, and here they come out of turn number four. It's going to be the 78 of Kevin Smith in KSR. He wins. What a masterful job of this entire race by Kevin Smith. Yeah. We didn't okay. talk about him having contact. Oh. We got oh, oh, just just out out. Make some noise for your winner of the second annual Indy 800. It's Kevin Smith. All right, let's see what happened to old number 50 riding dirty. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. How did the radiator get way back there? Jeez. Yeah, she got smoked, boys. Jeez, look at that. Sorry, I open this. Oh man, oh, hood is hood is locked down. Well, we had car problems in the burnout, and we had car problems in the race. We got but like had a good time, so all's well. We gotta now go give a bus away. The winner's here. He's been hanging out all weekend. Super nice guy. He brought his wife, and they are taking the bus home today, tonight, which is pretty awesome. He's super stoked about winning our school bus. Roger, the winner of the bus, is in there. So you remember in the last video where we called him, uh, I was like, "Hey man, what are you doing next weekend?" He was like, "Who is this?" And I was like, "It's Matt. What are you doing?" He's like, "Wait, like bus stuff?" And I was like, "Yep." He was freaking pumped to get this thing. So Roger only lives two and a half hours away and he is gonna drive this bus home, which is super awesome. Bus stuff, bus stuff, bus, bus stuff, bus stuff, bus stuff, bus stuff. <laughs> yeah! Congrats, Roger, enjoy your bus. The demo limo. <laughs> Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mayor.